2008 Dutch Grand Caravan TPMS light on we're gonna check what's going on with this uh, Maxi TPMS from Aurel TS401 so we'll look up the vehicle vehicle selection yes Dodge yes caravan no we'll go to Grand Caravan yes and it's 2008 it's the first one second one okay okay yes four wheels or five wheels so we gotta see if the spare tire has a tire pressure sensor in it let's see okay that's kind of hard to tell so we'll start with four wheels they're more common all right always start with the left front and trigger the sensor looks like it's not working let's try the other wheel forward right front trigger here we go we got a good pressure, 36 psi. <coughs> Automatically jumps to the uh, next wheel if it reads the sensor. Trigger. Here we go, 36 psi. Somebody put a regular valve stem without the sensor, so this is not gonna read either. Yeah, I don't have to bother. So we need two sensors. Just in case, I'm gonna do this one again. Trigger. Sometimes it might take a while. You can tell the sensor is a uh, different style from the other sensors. Yeah, it's not working. Oh, here we go. 37 psi, it just took a little longer. So we need one sensor on the left rear. All right, this is what the sensor looks like. So we'll, I'm gonna read it now. Just to make sure it's the right one for this vehicle. All right. Press trigger. Yes, it reads it. Zero PSI. We got the ID number which we're gonna need to input it in the control unit later on. So there it is all installed. Be careful. This nut is gonna be tight only eight newton meters which is very little don't use anything bigger than quarter inch drive that's how it sits there yeah I don't take the tire off I just cut off the old stem and then I'll press down here and just squeeze it in it works 
if you have a low profile tire, aluminum rim, low profile tire, yeah, you might need to take the tire off. I'm gonna check our work, make sure everything's fine. So I got right rear, left rear. Perfect, 35 PSI. Now, the tool can tell us how to program the new sensor. So we press the question mark here. All right, so you gotta check the tire pressure. And we gotta drive the vehicle for at least 10 minutes about 15 miles per hour and that will learn the new sensor ID so you don't need scan tool for this vehicle which is nice most Japanese cars you need a scan tool that's very nice from Dodge so after six seven minutes of driving light went off so we're done here.